Well, conditions are coming together to create potential tropical development near the U.S. coast. And this could bring some coastal flooding, some beach erosion, and even the potential for large waves and rip currents to the area. Absolutely. It's a developing storm off the Carolina coastline that we have to watch very carefully, not only here on Fox Weather, but also on Fox News. we got Fox News Chief meteorologist Rick Reichmuth in the house for us. And Rick, you've been to the Carolinas a couple of different times, of course. Beautiful place to vacation, sit back, relax, grab a drink, get the sun, the whole nine yards. But not when, you know, not this weekend or the next week. Not yeah, the best day for It's us. also a place that gets tropical systems. Sure. Hurricanes, it, you know, they get it and it's September. It's we're four days past the peak of hurricane season. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we're talking about a eh, frontal boundary stalled off the coast of Carolinas, maybe a little bit of development. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. th that's pretty shocking to me yeah. that we're at this time of the season and this is the thing we're talking about. We so, should be talking about some major stuff. Yeah, like it could be a lot worse, but if you're in the Carolinas, uh, we do have a disturbance. We know you're going to get a lot of rain uh, over the next number of days. And it's going to, looks like, be a slow developer and a slow mover. This isn't one of those systems that moves out of there real quick. Uh, and when you get these fronts that kind of stall out there, that's how these things form. It's a slow form, and that means a lot of rain across a big amount of time. But notice one thing, guys, since I was here last hour, mm -hmm. that next two days, they've upped it to a 30% yeah, sure chance from a 20% chance. That they have, that latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. And so, yeah, when you think about it and you think about the overall area, it's concerning because of the Gulf Stream. And the Gulf Stream, it's really warm right now. The sea surface temperature is running in the low to mid 80s. And so if this system is able to develop, then it's going to be able to tap in, into all of those really warm waters. And that's why we're, we're talking about the potential for subtropical or tropical development. That's the, the big question mark here. Um, and I think it's important to also not get hung up on the development because the impacts are the same. Mm -hmm. They are the same, except that if it does get a tr you know, become tropical, mm -hmm. it will have more moisture yeah. with it. It will have some increased winds. But we're not talking about winds that are going to be, you know, hurricane force winds, blow your house down kind of thing. We're just talking about maybe, you know, 40, 50, 60 mile an hour yeah. winds. That can certainly cause some troubles. Yeah. But it just, at, at each level, it increases the impact just a little bit with mm -hmm. this and I think we know that the impacts are going to be the next four to five days a lot of rain a lot it's of going to be gusty mm -hmm. and not a good time down across especially and, the coastal you know coast. one thing that I always get concerned about you know, I love Myrtle Beach going there with my twin and his family and all but like you notice the homes that are so close that are built literally right along the water and the coastal erosion yeah. even out of just mm -hmm. you know if this is just a tropical storm that just eats away at the shoreline. And unfortunately, we always see those those videos of like a home falling into the water. Yeah, that or banks, right, Anthony? I feel like we've been talking about it all summer long. Yeah, well, well I feel like all of that coast along the eastern seaboard is in a constant state of repair, mm -hmm. you know, replenishing yeah. the coastline because they just get turned up, which let's be honest, especially any kind of barrier islands are barrier islands for a reason. They form in a natural process that they're supposed to constantly be forming. And we as... It, it, nature isn't necessarily intended to have this big, beautiful beach all the time. Mm -hmm. right. We as humans have gone and built in these spots, and mm -hmm. now we want to keep those beaches nice, so that means you have to be rebuilding them. I mean, interesting perspective. I, what you're saying is right. Yeah, and yeah. Per perhaps not the best spot to build a, a beautiful multi-million dollar mansion on a barrier island, given the fact that it is nature's way of kind of protecting. But if you have the money for that, then you have the money to go back yeah. and rebuild it, and that's all part that's of true. the deal that you are and making and when you, you have a place right there. Insurance for it. That's the big right. question. Good luck. Yeah. 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 Which is getting harder and harder. Ooh, mm -hmm. Yes, that is. Oh, yeah. my goodness.